sorry for that. Please bear with me and I'm sure the drink later will taste that much sweeter. This, is, this technology is indeed fascinating. It's uh, this afternoon got off to a great start and uh, it's going to get better, I hope. <laughs> Alright, so let me give you a brief introduction and uh, and understanding of what cloud stringers is about. But before that, I would like to extend my sincere gratitude to Republic Poly for giving us this platform in which we can um, discuss the steps that we move forward and um, the steps that we think is suitable to revolutionize the industry of news and news dissemination, content dissemination, and as mentioned, uh, in the internet of things today, in the climate in which we are actually uh, standardizing, so to speak, platforms in which various assets and various facets of industries in which they can work together, we believe that there will be synergy created which will ultimately lead to greater value, greater assets and greater efficiency all throughout. And so Cloud Stringers, we, what we hope to do is to provide that, that central distribution platform in which um, broadcasters all around the world will be able to navigate through. I just realized it is indeed intimidating to be behind such sophisticated equipment. Mr. Sita was not lying. <laughs> All right, so let me introduce Cloud Stringers. Cloud Stringers is actually a fully owned subsidiary by Trek 2000, which is a local company. I'm sure some of you will be familiar with Trek 2000. They actually hold the patent for USB flash drives, thumb drives as you like, among other exciting products. And one of which that we'll be touching based on is the flu card. The flu card is essentially a much more sophisticated and refined, refined version of the SD card. It has wireless capabilities inbuilt and embedded into it. And this is a technology in which we'll be basing upon. It's a marriage of two technologies. The cloud server, moving forward into the industry, this is what we see as a great value. And the flu card as well, which will make transmission of content that much easier, that much quicker. And in the news world, that is so important. So, the traditional modes of delivery for news content would be done uh, in soon to be prehistoric methods, such as the motorbike courier, in which you're actually giving the physical copy of the SD card into the broadcaster, in which they will take it, um, transfer the information into their laptop, for example. Uh, work through that before it's being broadcasted. They also use dedicated FTP server. There are great limitations to the system in which you have to actually wait for the entire event to be filmed, recorded, before you find a hotspot, set up, set up your shop there, so to speak, and then transfer it to your dedicated FTP server. And of course, satellite transmission, which is more commonly used for live feed. Um, that is very rather costly I should say and um, you need a you need a whole equipment set you need a in terms of mobility it is not at its optimal level we do believe that so moving forward in the evolution of data delivery we live in an information world and what this means is that you want to get content from point A to point B in the quickest possible manner and have everybody be able to access that point B in the easiest manner as well. So from, from the simple pen and paper to tape to a normal SD card, we believe the flu card gold is the next step of evolution in which we can merge markets all across the world. And this is merged with the cloud technology that we have built upon. News and events happening worldwide. We have geographical boundaries of countries. News does not recognize this. Anything that's going on in America right now, there's some major event. We want to know about it. We want to learn about it as soon as possible. Any business paradigm shifts are going on, news gets to you really quickly. We will make it quicker. The end-to-end -end solution is very important in an integrated world. You do not want to be juggling between three or four different interfaces to navigate a single use or single end goal in mind. This end-to-end -end solution provides greater efficiency, lower operational costs for um, companies, and ultimately a very user-friendly interface in which 
um, great value can be accrued from. So let me explain to you and give you a visual representation of um, how Cloud Stringers actually operates, the players in the game, how we benefit, how we benefit each of these players in the game. So stringers are known or colloquially known as video journalists. They are the ones that are out in the field taking the videos and content providers are relying on these stringers to actually obtain these content before broadcasting it to a worldwide audience. We'll be equipping them with the, or rather we'll be equipping everybody with the wireless flu card gold. And from there, just imagine, such a simple interface, you record a video, you stop recording it, and there's an automatic transmission of content directly from your camera right into the cloud server. This cloud server will be um, visible to you yourself only before you actually push it up into the global marketplace. And this is a platform in which we feel the integration is so, um, is so amazing. We are able to connect everybody in the world you have a global visibility for the content that you push up to the global marketplace. With this content in the global marketplace, you're able to make transactions, you're able to share information with people who will be interested in such information. Local broadcast stations will be able to view this content, preview it, which is actually a very important security feature and um, we are now not only operating on the basis and assumption of trust, we are actually um, showing you what you're actually getting. These broadcast stations can then purchase these clips and a direct transaction between the stringer and the broadcast station removes layers of intermediaries. It makes the true meaning of demand and supply existent in this system. There are no, there are no monopolies trying to um, ensure that there is a, um, a price increment that does not sit well with the overall market in terms of distribution. Similarly for enterprises, for broadcast stations, they have their own in-house cameramen and they take videos. For broadcast stations, we have formulated a dedicated cloud server for themselves. They are able to do monitoring, tracking, but I'll get to that just a little bit later. The in-house cameraman would take these cameras, uh, sorry, Take cameras. They will take videos and it goes directly up to their dedicated cloud server. From there, there will be a management system in which you can um, manipulate with the direction that your video wants to take. You can choose to put them down for editing. If you like, you can push them up to the global marketplace as well. This global marketplace is mentioned as global visibility and content pro um, distributors in other regions will have access to this in the quickest possible and most efficient manner. So this is a rather complicated looking um, workflow chart. So uh, for the enterprise solution, as I mentioned, think of it as an ERP system in which you have monitoring, you have tracking, and you have the ability to actually uh, influence ground level uh, work staff in real time. And in the next slide, it will probably be a bit more clearer to you. The general users, these are all layers within the enterprise solution. The general users will be, for example, your in-house cameraman. They'll be the ones out in the field actually um, recording the content. And they can be separated into groups. This will be for grouping purposes. So for example, MediaCorp could have Channel 5, uh, Channel 8, etc., etc. Or similarly, if you do not have a parent company, so as to speak, you can actually, you know, categorize your journalists as though they'll be covering sports, they'll be covering politics, they'll be covering entertainment. Um, the group manager will be overseeing all these groups, or rather his own specific group. The company manager will then be overseeing all the group managers and he, you know, he will have the ability to actually dictate um, the amount of storage within this cloud um, you'll be allocated. And through this um, flexibility, you are able to achieve efficiency within and organizational customized needs. The system admin will be uh, taking care of all the greater, uh, more technical issues such as account activation, etc., etc. So, what do you actually need to make this system work? It's a very simplified system. In today's world, you want a user interface, 
and a workflow that is so simple. The Flucard Gold, in which Trek has developed proprietary and patented technology, is, uh, is utilized by cloud stringers. The other thing that you need is any camera. With connectivity from a mobile phone, for example, you're able to make this system work in any given situation. And with this uh, limited barriers of entry, we also uh, are addressing another industry need, which would be um, the ease of actually traveling from point A to point B. No more vans with big satellite dishes, no more heavy encoder decoder boxes, which cost an upwards of 5,000 USD. You just need this. It's relatively inexpensive and extremely accessible. The workflow, you shoot the clip. Upon stopping, um, upon pressing the record button for the second time, which ends the clip recording sequence, it goes for an automatic upload. When it gets uploaded, your chief editor could be in his office. Instant access to it, you can pull it down, do what you want. So, as with any enterprise, we hope to be introducing value to various players in the game. Um, today, businesses exist to improve and to innovate, and this is what we hope to do. Security features to protect the players in the game would include features such as encryption. Trek 2000 as well is, ex they are experts in um, encryption technology in which you are able to um, protect your servers from any outside um, hacking. Um, I think we all know what's going on in these days. Um, but with the relevant protection in place, we can ensure the utmost protection that can be offered to people who utilize our service. Watermarking. When you preview the clip, the last thing that we want people to do is to um, to pirate the clip in which they actually record the video from their screens in the preview mode and claim that content as their own. For this system to work, we need to ensure that there is integrity within this um, ecosystem. And with this feature, we feel that we have addressed a very big um, concern that some people might have. Data redundancy. And a preview of content which I touched on uh, earlier. So with this, we are hoping to bridge the geographical boundaries through global visibility, a global platform in which everybody utilizes. Traceability. Um, we have devised our own um, technology in which you only have a one card to one account, and just like a manufactured good in which you can trace back one good uh, down to which time it was manufactured, which line it was, and even which operator we have brought that process to a forward thinking and we are able to actually track it through which distribution channel it goes through, through which account user is actually holding onto this card. So in terms of liability, we have actually established this um, system in which we can trace every single video that is being put up. So through this, we, are, we can guarantee a bona fide customer base. And we have a strategic working relationship with Panasonic, who are the market leaders for ENG cameras all around the world. And through this, the end-to-end -end solution is presented. For broadcast stations, we have determined that we can give them value in the way of global-wide coverage, breaking news, they have access to this at any one given snap of the finger, just through accessing the global platform. The ease and availability of latest contents. Previously in the existing model, um, they have to either have connections or they have to have established channels into um, content from a different part of the world. Um, through this, we make it accessible to everybody. The freshness of contents for news agencies and broadcasters, they know. Um, if they're able to um, bring forward to you news that is happening in the quickest possible time, um, it leads to greater ratings. Greater ratings lead to greater advertising revenue. So this is very lucrative for them. 
credible operator will lead to credible contents through our traceability system. And as mentioned, the elimination of intermediaries will make the market that much more perfect. For stringers or video journalists as you would like, they now have uh, revolutionary technology in their hands in which they can actually earn a limitless amount of money depending on their quality of work. For this to happen, they do not need to navigate an overly complicated interface. It's really easy to utilize. The freshness of contents that they put up leads to benefits that directly get pushed down to them, so to speak. And that will be through the global buyer coverage. Security will, will affirm that there's integrity within the system, that the clips that they are putting up will not be pirated. And flu card scalability, as mentioned, um, as I touched on slightly earlier, right now for live streaming, for satellite transmission, um, it's actually a, a separate entity from um, recorded clips and the broadcast of recorded clips. It utilizes a totally different infrastructure. What we are doing is that in the first quarter of next year, we are integrating these two applications into one single platform. And this leads back to our point of efficiency, of adding values to an organization in which um, there will be exponential benefits down the road. Fresh news clips at a touch. That's what everybody wants in the broadcast industry. So through the World Factbook, this is effectively the market that exists for cloud stringers. This is the market that exists for any stringers that are signed with us. This is a market that is existent for any broadcast station that they currently do not have full outreach to. We hope to make all this accessible. We hope to make all this within a click of a button. This will all be presented to people who are within or on the cloud stringers model. And so there is a pricing model. Um, it is, as you can see, as mentioned, what we want to do is we want to ensure that there are uh, minimal uh, barriers to entry in terms of pricing. Um, this is a service that we are giving. We're not making any hardware sales. We are just making your working operation that much more simplified, that much more efficient. And these ways, both companies can grow together. This is not a uh, um, let me take 70%, you take 30%. This is not dividing the pie. This is expanding the pie for both players. And with that, I would like to thank all of you for your attention. I would like to thank everybody for being present here. And I hope that your drinks later will be that much more sweet. Thank you, Ian. Thank you very much. May I now invite Mr. Sito back uh, on stage to give a token of appreciation to our keynote speaker and to Ian.